my fellow collectors, this is Link's Reviews, and I am Link, and today we're going over Harley Quinn Season 2, Episode 6. Now this is going to be an awesome episode, some good backstory, uh, misleading for the Joker, but revealing for Poison Ivy. So, let's get right to it. Non-spoiler review, some new revelations about the Joker and Poison Ivy, some new info about Two-Face, um, you see a younger uh, Jim Gordon, um, you see a younger Joker, Pamela, I er, Pamela Isaacy, still in Arkham, and um, Joker with the long hair. Um, yeah, it was a good episode. It was interesting. I wasn't expecting it like to be like this from the trailer. I, I had a completely different theory. But nonetheless, this episode was actually really good. So, spoiler alert, let's go right into it. So the, op the episodes open up with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy in Noonan's Bar. And... They're talking about uh, date or kill, and obviously, well, a Kite Man, one of them was Kite Man, Mr. Freeze, and the other one was Joker, and uh, Poison Ivy, well, obviously the first one's my fi fiancé, and the other two are dead, and one of them's their um, ex-boyfriend, uh, so no, no on that. And then Harley Quinn points out the bartender, who looks exactly like the Joker without all of his green hair and his white face, interestingly enough. They start going down memory lane and flashbacks on why and how they all introduced each other. Um, let's skip a little bit ahead. They want uh, uh, Batman, Jim Gordon, and Harvey Dent want Harley Quinn to figure out Joker's plan for a bomb. Um, Batman ends up beating the crap out of him, still not getting anywhere, and then eventually Harley Quinn is able to get it from him. But before that, Harley Quinn meets Poison Ivy. And Poison Ivy is escaping, or trying to escape, because they brought lettuce for the lunch menu, and so she was able to escape. And um, they started burning her, which is terrible. Never treat your inmates like that. Harvey Dent's all for it. Um, eventually, um, po uh, Harley Quinn uh, uh, gives her, uh, Poison Ivy as a gift uh, of a sprig of a plant. That comes back for her later. And, um, eventually, um, Joker and, uh, uh, uh kidnaps Harley Quinn because he's escaping. And then Poison Ivy saves her, and she gets one more year in Arkham. And, uh, Joker is tied up, he gets back to Arkham. So this is in between before he finally escapes, and then Harley, uh, uh um, Harley and Quinzel turns into Harley Quinn. Uh, and then they cut back. After that debacle settles, because there's a relevation about the Joker, or he plays a rele or he says that this is how his origin, his dad, his family were sort of rich, and um, he, his dad killed his pet ferret, and laughing and beating the crap out of him. But in actuality, this is Poison Ivy's origin as a kid. That's when she gave up on humanity, and then she started to believe in humanity again when she met Harley Quinn, or Harley Quinn's out, funnily enough. And then the, um, it cuts back into uh, them interrogating the Joker look like with Dr. Psycho. They're not really interrogating him, most likely reading his mind, finds out that the acid completely erased the Joker's identity, at least as far as Dr. Psycho can ascertain. And as they're leaving, they get um, um, stopped by Harvey Dent with a whole bunch of uh, goons. They arrest him. Harvey Dent reveals that he's good news is he's the DA again. Bad news is you're under arrest. And then it cuts back to the Joker. He gets a text message. Apparently he has kids. I don't know where he got these kids from. And they've got what looks like blood on their faces, but it's not blood. It's pasta night. And he starts laughing like crazy. And then towards the end, he's just coughing. And then he goes, oh, and then it goes back to wiping down the counter. So, maybe the Joker's not gone for good? Who knows? It's, uh, actually, this was, a, like, a really normal episode. It was really funny, but, like, it wasn't the craziness that you would expect from Harley Quinn. But, then again, it was still a really good episode. I would recommend it. Check, it, check out DC Universe. Check out Harley Quinn Season 1 if you haven't seen it yet, uh, before you get to Season 2. And, as always, my fellow collectors, check out my Twitter, check out my Patreon, subscribe, like, Leave a comment down below, and as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day, and peace out.